days until Q4 hits. You need to be prepared. And today, what I'm going to be talking to you about is documentation, documentation, and documentation. Two major issues, one you're likely aware of, and this is just a reminder, and one which is something that is absolutely brand new, and you still need to know what's going on. So first, inauthentics and documentation. You must maintain killer invoices that document where you're sourcing your products from. It doesn't matter whether you are selling branded products or your own private label brand, make sure you are maintaining invoices in your database and look at our videos on what Amazon looks for when they examine your invoices. Have great documentation in advance so that if a listing goes down, if your account goes down, we can respond for you with a great plan of action supported by insanely high quality invoices and documentation. The second thing about documentation, and this is brand new, we've only had a handful of cases about this, is where Amazon is requesting import and export documentation for your products. We've seen this when it comes to velocity suspensions. I don't know why if this is a new wrinkle, there's something new that Amazon is looking for. I don't know if they're doing this to try and identify products that Amazon wants to start to sell and compete against you. Our country still has not outlawed Amazon using your data to compete against you, and maybe this is part of that. So the bottom line is, make sure you are maintaining absolutely insanely great documentation of everything you are selling, branded products to your private label goods, maintain that documentation so that if you lose a listing, we can write a plan of action to get it back for you. Also, by addressing listing suspensions, you are protecting your business. I spoke about this a bit yesterday. Any listing suspension puts your business at a significantly higher risk of being suspended during Q4. Address every single problem you have, maintain your business, keep on selling, and I hope that every single one of you makes an absolute fortune in Q4.